Welcome. So let's do this week in history. Today on This Week in History, we want to take a trip down memory lane to understand how the slim handheld device that yeah. you know have become such important parts of our everyday life came to be. Um, the humble cell phone has had quite a journey. So let's find out more about how we got here. Today on This Week in History, we're going to take a quick look at the evolution of the cell phone over the years. Now, before cell phones, there were actually car phones. In fact, the original car phone weighed about 80 pounds. In 1947, an engineer at Bell Labs envisioned a futuristic phone network for their car phones. A call would bounce uninterrupted between cells of coverage. At the time, the technology and infrastructure for this didn't exist, but it would soon exist as car phones soon became popular despite their limitations. As only a limited number of people could use the service at a time, it meant there was a five to 10 year waiting list formed and uh, existing customers could sometimes wait up to 30 minutes to place a phone call. But then in 1973, Motorola engineer Martin Cooper showed what the future would look like. The Dynatech 8000X was invented and it was based on Bell's cell phone network concept. You see, it was the world's first handheld cell phone. 10 years and a hundred million dollar investment later, Motorola finally released the phone to the public. The decade long delay was caused by the need to build the cell phone infrastructure, cellular infrastructure, the phone required to operate. Now the phone took 10 hours to charge for a battery time of just 35 minutes and cost about $3,995, which would be about $10,000 today. Ahead of its time, the IBM Simon could be considered the world's first smartphone, first touchscreen, and the first phone to have apps. Over the past half century, the cell phone has become much smaller and easier to carry around. It's evolved to connect us in ways that Cooper and Angel probably never imagined. In 1983, Motorola released a $4,000 phone and it took 10 years to make the phone Cooper used for the first phone call available to the commercial public. The Motorola MicroTac, a small flip phone, small enough to fit inside your shirt pocket, at the turn of a century, Nokia burst onto the scene, taking the cell phone market by storm. The Nokia 6000 series introduced phones with durable rectangular shape that fit perfectly into the palm, purse or pocket. It was the first cell phone made more affordable for the masses and allowed them to browse the web as well. In 2002, the Sidekick with a full keyboard that pulled out from the side of the screen was released. The Sidekick was like a mini computer that people could carry around in their pockets. It was designed to be extremely low cost, something you could just carry with you. In November 2002, Sprint started a trend with a phone that costed $400 and could capture shots of 640 to 680 pixels according to digital trends. Although the camera phone was sought after when first released, other features took precedence as it wasn't until cell phones became popular that the camera and quality of the camera improved. By 2004, cell phone companies were competing in full force to make the phone not only function better, but look better. The Razer was released with its slim, sleek design and color screen with many different color options like silver, pink, blue and black. It became a fashion statement as well as a means of communication. But it wasn't until the iPhone made its debut in 2007 that cell phones began transitioning from their role as a means of communication to a tool relied on daily for all sorts of tasks. Apple introduced touchscreen functions, internet access, and a virtual keyboard, and full rich text email access. Let's not forget the BBM with instant messaging from everyone from teenagers to businessmen and rappers obsessed with the Blackberry. BBM messaging took normal conversations and placed them in the secrecy of a cellular network, turning your thumbs into powerful tools of communication. 
But once again, the iPhone came out in 2010 to completely eclipse the BlackBerry. And it took a slim, futuristic looking phone with a battery life that could keep up with the demands of users everywhere. And in just one year, they improved on it. And ever since then, every single year, have come out with brand new devices. It's safe to say that tech and phone companies continue to compete, which means the cell phones they're creating continue to evolve. It's hard to say what will come next. And it's even more difficult to know how the changes will affect the way we communicate and potentially even the way we think. Oh, wow. Did, did what you feel memories. the nostalgia there? I'm telling you, I could pick every single phone I had actually owned yeah. from my 3310, 3320, yep. the yep. Razer. The Motorola Razer. The Razer was a very iconic phone, yeah. was a paradigm shift. Everything changed after that. Yeah. If yeah. you didn't yeah. have that one, pfft. Honestly, so I think, so I think uh, David Beckham mm -hmm. had a lot to do with the, with the Razer getting. So everybody wanted one because it just looked so cool. So sleek. David so beautiful. Beckham just so flat. I loved it. Flat, yeah. it could fit into an I envelope. I think they tried bringing it back last year again. Really? Um, I'm not sure mm -hmm. how far it went, but mm -hmm. they did bring it back last year. Just, you know, but one phone I will always vouch for would be the 3310. Yes. As near as three years ago, I actually yeah. purchased one, yeah. a classic one. <laughs> um, it, was, it, was, it was on eBay, it was fairly used, mm -hmm. but each time I went out to a place, you know, you yeah. go in your suit and everything, Just you expect to see people using an, uh, an iPhone and yeah. everything, but I brought out my 3310. You and they were like, like <gasps> 3310. <laughs> so, so that was what I got. That was the first phone I got for my kids um, oh. to use for them to understand. Because it's how a brick. So, yeah, you so can, no you can rub they, a bank with it. They could toss it's it. a stick up. <laughs> <laughs> that phone is so solid. But thank you so much for taking oh. that journey with us down yeah, memory lane. That was a beautiful lane. one. And uh, well, we're going to take a quick break. There's still so much more to come on Wake Up Nigeria. Stay tuned.